Exeter's defeat gave Harlequins the chance to take a firm grip on Pool 2, but a young Scarlet side made them work for it. The first quarter was gone before Henry Cheeseman muscled his way over. Not so long to wait for a second score, though. With Quinns well on top up front, Dave Lewis looks ready to benefit from Danny Kerr's Six Nations absence. The scrum half was rather more switched on than the Scarlet's defence, and James Lang's second conversion made it 14-0 at the break. The home side had named the likes of Joe Marchant and Aaron Morris in their back line, but they had little need for speed to settle this contest. Early in the second half, flanker Archie White finished off a pick-and-go, and the Welshman already had far too much to do. But Quinns weren't done. Lang followed another successful conversion with a try of his own under the posts to land the bonus point. The home side's third win in the competition meant Scarlet's third defeat, but they mustered some resistance inside the final ten minutes to post a score of their own. Replacement lock Bryce Morgan barging over for a consolation which wasn't the last word. Quinns were finally handed the opportunity to stretch their legs by a turnover, which was pounced upon by winger Ross Chisholm. It all added up to 15 points out of 15 so far, and just one more from next week's trip to Northampton will seal a semi-final spot.